quick revision video on weak acids. So we'll start with some essentials. Weak monobasic acids partially dissociate or ionize in solution and donate one H plus ion. So there's the generic equilibrium for that. HA in equilibrium with H plus ions and A minus ions. The acid dissociation constant, Ka, that gives us a measure of the extent of dissociation. So Ka for the weak acid HA is represented like that. The H plus concentration multiplied by the A minus concentration all over the concentration of HA. So the greater the Ka value, the stronger the weak acid. The units of Ka, moles per decimeter cubed. We need to know about pKa, so that's the minus log of Ka. And just like with pH, the smaller the pKa value, the stronger the weak acid. And if we're given pKa and we need to find Ka, it's 10 to the minus pKa. So how do you calculate the pH of a weak monobasic acid? We're going to use that equilibrium again. So we'll start with the initial moles. Let's say they are N. So initially we're not going to have any H plus or any A minus. And let's say there's a change. So X of it dissociates. So we'd have a loss of X moles of HA. But we're going to have a gain of X moles of H plus and of A minus. So at equilibrium, we're going to have N minus X of the acid, X of the H plus ions and X of the A minus ions. We'll bring in the Ka expression. So if we just focus on these, they're going to be the same because they of the one-to-one -one dissociation. So we can simplify the Ka expression to this. And then that's going to rearrange for the H plus of the weak acid is going to be equal to the square root of Ka multiplied by the HA concentration. And then obviously we would minus log the H plus concentration to get the pH. Now we've made a little approximation in this, so I'll just quickly go through that. Because that dissociation is so small, we can use the approximation that the HA concentration at equilibrium, so the final acid concentration, is the same as the undissociated concentration of the acid. So we're basically just going to use the original concentration of the acid in the calculation. So here's a quick calculation we can try. I've thrown in an extra step just to sort of um, practice one other thing. So we've got to calculate the pH of 0.05 moles per decimeter cubed nitrous acid, and we're given the pKa at 3.39. So the fact that they've given us a pKa value is a clue that this is a weak acid. And the pH or the H plus concentration of a weak acid is found by square rooting the Ka multiplied by the HA concentration and then obviously we're going to minus log that. So the problem we've got is we don't have the Ka value, we've got the pKa value. So the first thing we need to do is work out Ka, so there's the solution for that. Now we can put that into the square root and we can find the H plus concentration and remember that we use the original concentration of the acid because that dissociation is so small. And then the H plus concentration comes out as that. So the pH to two decimal places is 